Yo, what's going on? All my homies, homets, dudes and dudes. It's your boy Will back again. And I'm about to run through another one of my weekly rotations. Everything I wore all week last week. So without further ado, no intro, the weekly reports. Starting out on Sunday. On Sunday, I started with this fragrance here. And I think I did a ride along with this one also. But this is Detour Noir. And this one is a really, really good fragrance. Oh, man. This one's a, a clone of, of uh, Layton by Powerful Mr. Marley. And it's a really good clone. It's a really nice, fresh... Um, easy to wear uh, compliment polar type of fragrance it's really good that was sunday uh check out the uh ride along on monday oh by the way this week i did all clones this week i just wanted to put on something from uh from different houses that clone different fragrances and this one is a clone this one well first of all this is Hugo Boss Reverse. And this is a, supposed to be a clone or somewhat close to, um, what is that fragrance? Uh, what is the fragrance? I can't remember the fragrance right now, but. Uh, Elysium. <laughs> it's a clone of Elysium by, uh, uh, what's the name of the company? I can't remember the, frame, the company name, but this is a really nice, fresh, easy going fresh uh high lifting fragrance this is really good for the summertime in the high heat this one performs really well so that was monday that was hugo balls reverse on tuesday i grabbed this one i actually haven't worn this one in a while as a cheap presentation but it's a really good fragrance this is shiaka by um come lodge uh, I think that's what the name is but this one is a really good fragrance too actually a lot of these are really good fragrance but this one is a clone of Reflection Man by by Amouage oh man mm, and it has that nice creamy creaminess to it but it also has a little bit of spiciness in the background it, it has a lot of good personality with this it might not smell exactly like um reflection man on the first spray but as it gets closer to the mids and the dry down almost a one-to-one -one. almost and then on that was sunday monday tuesday on wednesday i grabbed this one i don't hear a whole lot of people talking about this fragrance i don't know if it's been discontinued or not but this is honey mori and this is him the name of the fragrance is him by honey mori and this one if you can get your hands on it it's a cheap fragrance too i think it was only 20 dollars. but if you can get your hands on it this is so good this is a clone of gucci pour on two um the the gucci with the gold top and it's uh blue it's been discontinued but this is a really, really close, close uh, interpretation of that same fragrance. That was Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I grabbed this one. And this one is Supremacy Noir. And this one, I can't remember the name of the fragrance that this one clones. But it has this... I can't remember the, the name of the fragrance that's leaving my head right now. I'll put it right here. Um, but it has this pine note to it. And man, it's it's a pine note that's that's creamy instead of pine note that just smells like you know Christmas or or the winter time. It's a it's, this is a really nice fragrance. It's a nice office scent, also. That was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Then on Friday, I rocked out with this one. This is Missoni's Wave. That gonna come in Missoni Wave, and 
This one is really nice. This is a, actually a cross between two fragrances. A cross between um, Dior, Allure Om. Allure Om, is it Launch? One of those. And mixed with um, uh, Versace Pour Om. The, the regular Versace, the blue bottle. It's a mix between that and the thing is, it, Versace Pour Homme is one of my favorite fragrances, but this one lasts longer than Versace Pour Homme. The Versace maybe lasts maybe about two or three hours, unless you put some heavy ISO E Super on you in addition to it. But yeah, that's what I rocked out to on Saturday. Masoni's Wave. Masoni has some good fragrances. I'm ready for them to come out with something different, uh, a different flanker for their fragrances. Then on Saturday, Saturday, I rocked out to this one. This is a very reflective bottle. I'm trying not to blind you guys, but this is Milestone by Armoff. Milestone's Club de Nuit Milestone, to be exact. And this one, the gold bottle, if you haven't already figured it out, it is <sighs> nice. It's a uh, clone of uh, Millicent Imperio by uh, Creed, and it's a good um, it's a good clone too. It this actually lasts better than the Millicent Imperio, the 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 original version. This one smells a little bit better to me. It's a little bit fruity, fruitier, but one thing it does last longer than the other one. So yeah, that was Saturday, and. That's it. That's all I have for you today. I appreciate your time. I know you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're hanging out with me talking about seven fragrances that I wore all week last week. Until next time, catch you on the rebound. Deuces.